welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vanessa and today I'm going to be sewing a lingerie set for my shop and I thought it would be really cool if I recorded my creative process, especially since so many of you love watching me sew. Um, be sure to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe if you end up, there's like a hair in my mouth, if you end up loving it and um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my workspace. Maybe I should have cleaned it for this video. I don't know. I don't care. But my machine has red threads, so I'm doing a red project. I don't know if anyone else does that, but like, I don't like changing the thread is my least favorite thing to do. So, like, I just try to do as many projects or orders that I can with like the same colored thread that's ready in my machine. Anyways, um, this is like the fabric I'm going to be working with today. This is like scrap pieces of fabric from a lingerie set I made, I don't know, like a year or two ago. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that I made like a year or two ago. And so I'm basically going to be creating a one-off or like a one-of-a-kind lingerie set. This is like a really shitty sketch that I did with like red, like a red pen. But basically, I'm going to do like a balcony underwire bra. So this floral fabric is going to go in the bra cups and then in the center of the bra band and then i am going to be making a matching high waist panty out of a red power mesh so you see like how little of fabric i have to work with it's like i can either throw it away or i can make like like something out of it and that's what i always try to do for basically like all the fabric i have is like never have any waste and just like always like create something for this design, I'm going to use like the very last of this fabric. I'm basically going to cut like one bra cup here and then the other one here. And I am doing a size extra small just because I don't have that like that much fabric. And then I'm going to um, do the bra band or like the center of the bra band here. And then I'm going to use this red bow. And then I'm also going to use like this red pico elastic. And then I have like this red uh, bra channeling. And then... Um, um, I had, I was thinking about using like this lace, but I feel like the fabric is like, like really busy and the lace would, oops, the lace would like make it like, like really, really busy. Like, I don't know, just probably look ugly. And then this is all like the red uh, bra strap elastic I have. I don't know. It's probably like 18 inches. So I'm going to use that for the bra straps. And then, um, this is like a dress I made a really long time ago. It came out too big and I hate it now. I'm just gonna take this off from this dress to use it for this brawl and then I'm gonna use red power mesh it looks like this um, yeah so yeah I think I should just get started cutting so then I can start sewing um, before I just keep rambling on okay so I have all the pieces cut well everything except the ruffle pieces because I'm gonna do those last but basically these are the brawl cups this is the center front of the brawl band and then the sides are gonna have the red mesh like I drew here and then these are the panty pieces I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing the panty because I personally love sewing whatever is easiest first because I feel more like accomplished and stuff <laughs> So I just finished sewing the panty. I basically did the gusset seam at the bottom, the side seams, and then I finished the waistband. I'm going to wait to do the ruffles last because I have to like change the needle in this machine. And I also, that's one thing I don't really like doing. So I'm going to wait to do the ruffles, but I did want to show you the elastic up close. So I'm not super happy with the width of the zigzag. I didn't really like notice it until I was done sewing it. So I think for the bra, I'm going to change the stitch width or the stitch yeah the stitch width of the zigzag for the bra but yeah I put a bow at the center and then the back has a size extra small tag I'm excited to sew the bra which I am going to be doing next I just wanted to show you again basically what the bra looks like before I actually sew it we have the left and right cup the center front band and then the mesh bands I'm going to start sewing the bra cups and then the band and then I'm going to add the top elastic and then I'm going to wait to add the bottom elastic because I think that's when I'm going to do the ruffles. Okay, so I overlocked 
the brawl band, I overlocked the darts, and then I overlocked the top of the brawl cups. Now I basically just need a top stitch and then I could go ahead and apply, apply the top elastic here and then zigzag it. But it's coming together, it's super cute, I'm really excited to finish this. Okay, so I made like a little small mistake there with my top stitch. I'm just gonna go ahead and seam rip that extra seam. I was like accidentally sewing way too close to the edge. I was trying to have like a, I don't know, an eighth maybe? Yeah, an eighth seam allowance like all the way across or an eighth top stitch, I guess. So I did all of the top stitching for the brawl band and the cups. I also inserted the top elastic here. Now I need to finish this little top piece I don't know why I didn't do that already, but yeah, I need to finish that top piece and then I just have to overlock the cups in so they'll kind of look something like this. And then I'm going to use um, this bra channeling. Um, I'm going to top stitch it here and here so then I can add the underwire. So yeah, I was attaching the bra cups, but my band, I added extra seam allowance to the top here. And I guess like I didn't actually really need it. I don't even know why I thought I needed it. So I need to unpick the elastic here and re-overlock it because it's like way, like way too way too like long and it's funny because it's like exactly the um it's like exactly half an inch too big because i basically added half an inch there so yeah Okay, so this is what I have done for the brawl so far. I think next I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the ruffles because before I add the channeling, I need to add the waistband elastic and that has like that's going to have the ruffle going all the way across the brawl. So I cut two really long strips of power mesh. It's basically, I think maybe like 58 inches by one and a half inches. I'm gonna baste it on my sewing machine so that I can gather the top here. And then after, I'm gonna do a rolled edge hem at the bottom here. Okay, so I did one of the ruffle strips and I um, just placed it under the bra. Um, this one I gathered it to the width of the bra so you could kind of see it come together. I still need to base this one. I'm going to be using it for some of the bra straps and then I might have to cut another one because I still need to do the ruffles for the matching panty. Okay, so I finished the ruffles. I'm now gonna finish the panty next because it's like easier. And I'm basically need good, ugh, I'm basically gonna put the ruffle like on top of the right side of the leg of the panty. And then I'm gonna do the elastic on top. I'm just kind of showing you. And then I'm basically gonna like zigzag it or overlock it, zigzag it and flip it over so that the ruffles are on the outside of the leg. the next day and I'm still working on both the bra and the panty. I really want to finish it tonight. I was hoping I could like post it on Instagram by like 6.30 but it's probably not gonna happen. We're 
random, but sometimes um, when I need like bobbin thread, this is like, I like have my bobbin up here <laughs> and then I just hold the cone and I just like press on it. So yeah, this is how I wind my bobbin. This is what I have for the panty so far. It's honestly turning out super, super fucking cute, like super, super cute. Um, the ruffles are going to be a little bit shorter because I still have to do like a double zigzag. I am kind of sad about it because I'm like, they're like such a perfect length, but I don't really want to redo it. So yeah, I'm basically zigzagging like here because this elastic is wide and then my overlock stitch only, so my overlock only goes like half of the elastic and I need to zigzag the top so that this whole piece is stitched and that when I flip it over, it just looks really clean. But I just wanted to show you that I'm zigzagging the elastic and basically this is like why the ruffles are going to turn out like shorter. So I did zigzag the panty, well I did like one of the legs, I zigzagged it. This is what it looks like so far. It looks pretty cute, it's maybe not exactly like how I thought it would be, I mean it's still not done. but. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and keep working on the other legs. So maybe if I finish both legs, it'd look like even cuter than I think it does now. Okay, so I finished the high waist panty. Um, it looks like pretty much like my drawing here. There's my drawing and then here's the panty. Um, I'm not like super happy with it. Like it's super cute. I love the ruffles. I don't really like how my zigzag like looks and then um, the bottom here, like, I don't even know what happened, but like the elastic is like, it's all blurry. Okay, so this is the part I don't like. I don't know what happened, but my elastic is like sticking out. And then even this part too, like the elastic is sticking out. And then I wasn't really sure what to do with the raw edges. You can't really notice because this is like the crotch area, but I feel like I'm gonna need to work on the construction on how to sew this, I guess. I'm just gonna list this as a sample on Instagram since it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but it's still cute, it's still functional. I just wouldn't like really sell this like at a retail price, like knowing the bottom was like all wonky. I put the panty on my mannequin. She's a size small, but um, like these are stretchy obviously so these might be a little snug on her but this is how it looks on it's pretty cute but it still needs like some work and then this is what it looks like in the back my tag is like yeah so yeah she'll look like this now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the bra this is kind of like what it looks like the ruffles are gonna be there there and at the bottom I think I'm gonna do like the waistband first because if I do the waistband then I could do the channeling and then I'll probably do the straps and the hook and eye last. So I added the ruffle to the waistband and the bra is looking really cute. I'm really really happy with it. I like it so much better than the panty over there. I don't know why but um, now I'm going to go ahead and do the bra channeling so I can add the underwire and then once I add the channeling the bra like has, gets more shape and then I could go ahead and start working on the straps which I'm not really looking forward to. I don't know I kind of don't really like sewing these ruffles but they are like really pretty but just kind of like a bitch to sew. And so yeah I'm just going to do the channeling and then I can work on the straps and then the hook and eye and then I think I'm done. put it into the channeling that I only sewed I only sewed one side to show you guys what it looks like sometimes it's like tough to put it in if like I top stitched it way too close just use the table okay and just keep pressing down okay 
so I can still go a bit more. That should be pretty good. Okay, so now you can see the bra looks totally different with the underwire and with the um, channeling. So yeah, it looks like that. And then I have to cut all the loose threads, but this is what it looks like um, on the inside. The bra channeling for both the right and left side and then I added the bow it's looking really really cute I am honestly not super happy with my construction I don't know why I'm sucking at sewing today but uh, it looks amazing uh, now I need to add the strap so I'm gonna use this strap elastic like I really don't have much and then I'm gonna use these silver bra slides and then I'm also gonna do the ruffles so I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna attach elastic to the ruffles, and then I'm gonna like sew it like right here, and sew another one here, and then at the end of the ruffles, I'm just gonna put one of these sliders in, and then that's when I'm gonna attach the adjustable bra strap, and then all I have to do is seam rip this hook and eye, and then add it to the bra, and I should be done finally. I'm excited. I don't really know what I'm doing with the straps. They're not coming out like how I want them at all. I'm just gonna like zigzag this and then see like basically how it looks when I'm done zigzagging it. I just feel like kind of like everything I'm doing for this set is coming out like not really exactly how I want but yeah I mean I guess that's what happens when you don't really like make a sample and you just like go for it. <laughs> This is what the strap looks like up close. You can see like the ruffles look really shitty. Um, I, I mean, I did pretty much the same application, but this has extra fabric. So I feel like this way like looks better than that way. Um, I don't know. I think I might just leave it or I might need to think of an idea on how to make it look prettier. I think I'm just gonna leave it because I always try to keep like my construction the same. So like, if the pico like elastic, you can see the little scallops here. I wanted the, I wanted the straps to be like the same, where you can see the little scallops. So, cause there is another way. If I recut the straps and did them, there is another way I can sew them. But I just try to make sure all of my construction is like consistent, like throughout the design. And the panty is also like this. Like you can see the scallops. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it, and I'll probably have to sell this uh, bra as like a sample instead of like an actual like lingerie set just because my construction is like not super perfect I to sew the other strap but like the ruffles are like way too short right there so I'm actually not going to use these at all they're like really shitty and it's not going to make me feel good about my work basically going to try to find or think of another way to do the straps because I'm not happy with the ruffles and I wouldn't feel like comfortable like selling this like lingerie set when I think my sewing is like super super shitty so I'm gonna try to like see what other kind of like strap kind of thing I can do so one of my other ideas was to do like ribbon tie straps um I didn't draw my machine is so heavy oops <laughs> okay so I didn't draw it out but I think I'm going to use this red ribbon which is the same as this ribbon just wider and I think I want to like sew it here and then it's gonna go to the top and then I'll sew it back here and it's gonna go to the top. So you can tie it at the top and then this, it'll be like a large bow and then the straps will just like curl and hang down. I think that would be cuter. And um, yeah, this ribbon is super pretty. So I just feel like 
that would kind of bring the design more together and um yeah like solve my strap issue that i have because i hate these so much like they're so shitty like yeah it's okay sometimes designs don't work okay so i finally finished the bra here is the final product it's so so cute i'm like seriously so happy and so proud of myself and happy that it basically looks like my sketch kind of sort of um there are a few things that i feel like need improvement this elastic is not like the normal width of elastic that i use so before i like cut out the bra band i added extra seam allowance at the top which you saw me like take out later then i added extra seam allowance along the bottom of the band which also widened um this area here so like my fabric kind of puckers right there which i don't like it's basically because the band was too wide and my hook and eye is not as wide i'm not happy with that part but that's something now i know that i could work on later and then yeah i was unhappy with the straps everything else came out pretty good this is like what the inside of the bra looks like it's pretty clean um i have my little tag that says extra small if I knew I was going to do the ribbon straps, I would have totally like put them, put, inserted the ribbon between the elastic and the fabric so that it's more hidden and clean. And I would have done the same thing here. I would have sewn the ribbon first and then added the bra channeling so it would have been like hidden. This elastic should be underneath the bra channeling. It kind of like, if it was, it, it would like curve a bit more. And because I added extra seam allowance that I didn't really need, it it didn't really reach the bra channeling. It does a little bit, but not really. So right now I'm on my floor and I'm basically going to um, photograph the bra with the underwear. I am gonna put like my rose garlands like around and then I'm just gonna tape the straps. I'm gonna curl them and then tape them at the bottom so like they just stay flat. This is the flat lay I put together. It's just like a white cardboard and then I taped down the straps so they could stay curled. I was going to put like a red rose garland around but I kind of like just like the white background so I'm going to take some photos right now for Instagram. Okay so um I think I'm just going to wrap up this like sewing vlog with that. I still have to edit the photos and then I'm going to post them to um Instagram and I'm gonna list the, the lingerie set I just made on my website. I'm probably am gonna do like a 10% discount just because I wasn't like super happy with my um, construction. Um, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed watching me sew, if you have any questions or I don't know. <laughs> um, I wanna like do sewing vlogs like once or twice a week. I don't know like yeah so i want to do it once or twice a week so let's hope i can like stick to that um plan or goal um so i guess i will see you next time bye